Do you want true love? The kind of love where your mate would risk their life to save yours? <laughs> well, too freaking bad, because that kind of love only exists in the movies. Hi, I'm Dr. Nathan Carlson. The problem is, what we call love is actually just selfishness, and that leads to things like divorce and murder-suicides. Or maybe your wife runs off to Puerto Rico with a professional douchebag named Tad J. McCubbins. I don't know, that's just a random example. But now there's help. I've created a new drug that allows one to experience the euphoria associated with love without all the dangers of involving other people. It's called... <laughs> That outtake, recorded eight days ago here in Los Angeles, was... That outtake, recorded eight days ago here in Los Angeles, was one of the first recorded outbreaks of what up until now has been called the musical theater disease, or in some circles, the gayest disease ever. Joining me now via satellite is Deputy Surgeon General Dr. Leo Webb. Dr. Webb, I'm told the disease has finally been given a name. Indeed, Jim. We are calling it Sudden Death Syndrome, or SDS. I see. Is it anything like Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, or SIDS? Yes, it's exactly like that. Only minus the I. Also, the diseases are nothing alike. Once one has contracted SDS, they will die within four to ten days. The only known symptoms of this horrible disease is spontaneously bursting into song. And for some, breaking into dance in the final hours of their life. It's a highly contagious disease. I'm just glad it's been contained to LA County. It finally has a name. Give me a wallet. No! It was also announced today that semi-renowned scientist, Dr. Nathan Carlson, will be joining the research team in downtown Los Angeles as the disease seems to share a common molecular structure with his so-called love drug. It finally it has a name. Oh, yes, they've given it a name. And it's very scientific. No longer is it vague. No, it's really quite specific. Like the word is so mundane. But the meaning is explicit. It's the name that says it best. It's it's The end is coming oh so fast like a race car and I know I will get smashed by that race car and my insides will be splattered all over the figurative cement. I don't even expect to finish the sentence. I did it! Hooray! It's something of a cataclysm comes on you like an aneurysm. It's sudden. Oh, it's sudden. This play is an anachronism. No time to learn the catechism. It's sudden. Far too sudden. Dr. Carlson, welcome. Nice to have you on board. I'm Jonathan Wright, head of lab operations. Nice to meet you. So, uh, any luck with the vaccine? Not exactly, but we are running tests as we speak. Here we are. So far, we've only succeeded in causing people's heads to explode. And this is our head researcher. <laughs> Allison, knock it off. Rachel.
Rachel? Hi, Nathan. You look amazing. Well, I've filled out a little bit since we were 10. <laughs> well, good. I see you've already met. Now, if we could just and get... And then I saw her. And then I saw him. I couldn't stop checking him out. She was only a B-cup. He was soft in the middle. But I knew deep in my heart that I could do better. Okay, let's get to work. All right, Nathan, let me show you what we're working on. If someone could grab that beaker. Then I touched her. Then I touched him, and things were turning around. I had knots in my stomach. Her hands felt like sausage. And I knew deep in my heart this was strictly platonic. Right, if we could continue. Your hands felt like sausage. Oh, really? Well, do you want to go get some coffee? Okay. Okay, cool. I'll do all the work. And then I smelled her. And then he smelled me. I was a little creeped out, but I liked the attention. She smelled like my grandma. And I knew deep in my heart that this had potential. You know, you never called after you left. Yeah, sorry about that. I actually did try to call like my freshman year. And what happened? I panicked, adopted a raspy voice and said I was gonna kill your dog. That was you? We got our neighbor arrested for that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. He was a pervert anyway. <laughs> then I saw her, truly saw her, and I knew beyond all doubt she was practically perfect. And I knew deep in my heart it was love at first sight. And we would get married. What? Huh? Guys, you have literally been gone for 22 hours. The entire city is dying, and you're out here singing? Sorry, we were... No, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Now, come on, let's go. Judge Carlson, call for you. Well, I better get back to work. I think it's a man. Hey, Rachel. Yeah? Um, listen, about all the singing, I, I think I just got caught up in the moment facing my own death and all. Oh! <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, me too. No big deal. Hello? Meet me on the roof in half an hour. What? Who? Who is this? Someone you'll want to talk to. We've got to find a cure. The night drags on and our time is so short. But every rock must be turned and all options explored. There, there just has, has to be a cure. I've got beakers and burners and liquids galore. I've got formulas and theories and methods in store. If I can't figure this out, what I go to school for? We've got to find a cure. We've got to find a cure. We've done all we can, we can do nothing 
my vocal cords Our soar. efforts are useless and no we've endured. Are this we disease is advancing is up this side to I'm settle sure. the score. There we've will got never to find be a, a cure. cure. There will never be a cure. Seriously, that was quite impressive. You could dance professionally. I mean, if it didn't mean you'd be dead in a couple of hours. Uh, thanks. Enough of the small talk. I'll cut right to it. SCS was created by a radical sect of the U.S. Coast Guard. <laughs> the Coast Guard, really? Oh. Watch your mouth. We're gonna be quite feisty. We? Take this. It's a cure if one is not already dead. And this, proof of the conspiracy. Thanks, but. Why give this to me? Because this is all your fault, indirectly. What are you talking about? Your love potion. Coast Guard adopted it to help soldiers with loneliness, which was all fine until the radical sect at the base out here discovered they could manipulate it and create SDS. The rest is history. Got to be kidding me. But wait, why all the singing? That, I don't know. You'd have to ask Admiral Lloyd Webber. Well, anyway, I thought you'd like a chance of redemption. I mean, having killed all the people you have. I didn't. You know what? Never mind. Thank you for hey, Wait, wait. I have information on the Kennedy assassination. I I'm kind of in a hurry. Wait. What about Area 51? The 18 minutes of the Nixon tape? No, thanks. Yeah, but you know what? I should write this stuff down. Oh. Freeze. Hands in the air. Dr. Carlson? Uh, yeah? Yes, it is you. Dude, love potion is so awesome. You just, uh, you just shot a man. He was old. I can't believe it's actually you. We couldn't have made SDS without you. Why did you make it? Uh, 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 uh. Looked at me funny. He's dead! Oh, snap, dude. You're infected. Come on. I got to get you back so we can get you a cure. Dude, do you have some kind of death wish? You could bite it at any second. I can't really let you go with the stuff that that guy just told you. And I saw her. Dude, tell me this is not about a girl <laughs> that is so gay. You got to the count of three. One, two. Oh! Tell me you saw that. Yeah, it was insane. You could have been killed. Why would you do that? Now, come on, we have to get that vaccine back to the lab. Jonathan. I don't know, stay focused. I'll grab an empty beaker, OK? OK. Rachel. No, 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 no. Maybe love was the answer all along. Maybe that's the cure. First, you're singing. And suddenly, We're alive. 
I know I don't know what happened. <sighs> huh, I guess those two prototypes mixed together. Well, they must have formed an airborne compound that somehow brings oh. those killed by SCS back to life. That's completely improbable. Well, who cares? We're alive. <sighs> yeah, we are. And I've just got to say... I'm sad and complete until I saw your face. How are you still singing? Well, that, that killed the mood. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess the effects take a while to wear off. Hmm. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Go on. Oh, well, why don't we go bring everybody back instead? Huzzah! Hey. Creepy. Tell somebody about the Coast Guard? Yeah, in a minute. What happened? Well, the singing must have worn off. You guys, anybody else need closure still? Because I remember the last word, we could just... And suddenly we're alive! It's sudden life! Her hands fell like sausage. 